Good morning everyone. So right now I'm in Chicago. I came for a social networking event. Can't talk it too early. A social networking event for my program. We got to meet GAO and American Institute for Research and a bunch of other places. So I can start networking and making connections because I'm going to graduate in May and so it was a really great experience i got to meet a lot of people met some alumni in chicago made the connections and now i'm getting ready to eat breakfast and then we're gonna have one more um like institution come visit us and tell us more about like their company and stuff so they're gonna come and talk to us um but right now i'm in a hotel and i wanted to show you guys the view like have a really nice view but yeah that's pretty much it for now I'm probably gonna show you guys what I look like at the end because I just got dressed and showered real quick um, and then I'm gonna go to my mom's house and surprise my dog and cat and I want to see like what do they do when I'm not there like when no one's there I, I mean um, so I'm gonna go to my mom's and I'm gonna try to be really quiet and just sneak in and try to see what's happening but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna vlog like my weekend in Chicago basically. Um, but that's it. And thank you for watching. And we'll okay, so I'm gonna head downstairs to have breakfast with everyone and then network a little bit more with alumni in Chicago. Then I'm gonna go to my house and I'm really excited to see my dog and my cat. So this is just. Ooh. Yeah, it's just overall look of what I'm wearing today. Just business casual, I guess. But I'll see you guys. Hey everyone, so me and Louis just came back from eating. We didn't really vlog that because we were really hungry and we mm -hmm. just ate right away. We had some, I had some chilaquiles, Louis had a torta. So we're parked in front of my mom's house. And we're going to go see, um, we're going to go see what... Fufu and Coco are doing right now. So Louis is going to grab the camera. I'm going to go inside. I'm really curious to see what they're doing. But we're going to be really quiet. Because Fufu goes crazy when he sees someone come home. So if he starts barking then there's no. Then he's probably going to tell Coco that someone's here. And then there's no point. They're just going to be starting like going crazy. Because someone's finally home. They're not really alone home more than like a couple hours. Like maybe. Only when the kids go to school they're alone. Besides that they're not alone. But yeah, we're gonna go inside right now. Surprise, motherfucker. Hey, How are you? Hey, Hey, Who are you doing? You were doing? sleeping, Papa. You were sleeping with your brother? Huh? You were sleeping with your brother, huh? You were sleeping with Coco. Look at Coco. Look at your brother. Oh. Coco, you're getting bigger. Coco, what you eating, bruh? Boy, what you eating, bruh? 
uh, when we came in, they didn't hear us, and now they're just really happy and excited that we're here. And Fufu really wants to get the camera, um, so we're gonna turn it off right here for now. Um, so we're just gonna pet. Oh my God, Coco got so big. Coco's so big. All right, but we're gonna stop it here um, because Fufu is going crazy. He wants a camera. All right, we're gonna walk him too. Bye. Fufu, you happy with your toy? Huh? Can I get your toy? Can I see your toy? Fufu. Oh, my gosh. Oh, can I get your toy? He's like, bitch. Coco, what you doing? Huh? Ah! What you doing? Trying to hit me. Ah! Boy, if you don't stop. What are you doing? What you looking at my mom for, huh? To defend you? She can do nothing. Karen trying to negotiate over there her punishment with my mom. Coco, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna mix them up. Let's go in my tray right now. So I put like about two cups of water in here. So I'm just gonna let that boil for now. And then I'm gonna add the rice with the canela um, and just let it boil until the rice is really fully cooked. And it's really soft because for a rosa leche, you really want it to be really soft, the rice. So I'm just gonna let it boil for now and then we'll keep going. But I put like around two cups of water. All right, so I'm gonna put, I think this is like around a cup. You know, Latinos, we don't be really be measuring that well. So we're just gonna, I feel like at this point, I already know. I'll put a little bit more rice. I'm just gonna let that boil. Again. So I, mm, I wanna say it's like two cups and a half. All right, now that I put the rice, I'm just gonna put in like a stick of cinnamon. I know some people really like it with a lot, so, but I only usually only put one stick. I'm just gonna put a little one, but I'm just gonna let that boil for now, now until the rice is really soft. Make sure to be stirring it meanwhile, because then you don't want it to asentarse in the bottom and then for it to get burned. So this should be almost done. The rice is really, really soft. But I want it a little bit more softer. And what I usually wait for is that the rice like forms a little like chromosome, like an X. And I like to see that because that's when I know that the rice is really well done cooked. So as you can see, the the water kind of observes, which leaves more room for like milk and stuff. Sometimes I add more water. <sighs> I add more water um, because sometimes the rice really like soaks in all the water so that so uh, i try to see if it needs more because if not it's gonna overflow and it's not gonna be good so that's pretty much it for now coco's really curious to what i'm doing and both was pissed the fuck off because i'm not paying attention to it what's wrong why are you barking why are you barking come over here come over here come on then stop barking. I don't know what's your problem, bro. Come over here. Okay. Bye. But yeah, I'm going to keep stirring this. And I'm going to just put a little bit more of water. Just so it can keep on boiling and cooking. Since it keeps soaking it in right now. Oh my god, I'm going to kill him. Te voy a chingar. Calmate. Calmate. All right, so now the rice is pretty much fully cooked. It's really, really soft. This is how I usually like it. Um, like soposo. That's the term I think I use. So now I'm going to add like two cups of milk and see how if I need more. 
So let me mix that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add one more cup. And I need to add the vanilla right now and the evaporated milk. Not evaporated milk, I mean the condensed milk. Because I use condensed milk to make it sweet. Um, it makes it more thicker and creamier, in my opinion, than regular sugar. So I, this is how I'm used to doing it. I'm going to add a little bit more milk because it's going to eventually boil again and absorb all the liquid. Alright, so I'm going to put another cup of milk. There you go. And now I'm going to put some vanilla. I'm going to put like two spoons. So I put the vanilla and I'm just going to mix it. And I love how like vanilla makes it taste. It really does make a difference. I've made it a couple times without vanilla, but I like it more with, uh, with vanilla. So there you go. I'm going to mix that. And then now I'm going to add the condensed milk. I usually only add like one can, depending on how sweet you like it. But I really like it sweet, so sometimes if this isn't enough, I'm using the Goya right now, the sweet condensed milk. If this is not enough, I will add like just white, pure white sugar. But look at this, oh my god. I can smell diabetes right here. This shit is so unhealthy but so freaking good. So I'm just gonna put the whole pan, the whole can. Stir it, and if you need more, more sugar, then you can either buy more, like buy more evaporated. Is it? No, sweet condensed milk. I don't know why I keep saying evaporated milk. You can buy more sweet condensed milk or just add regular sugar, which I'm going to do now. I usually just add one can and then just regular sugar. And then all you're going to do is mix it all really good and then let it boil one more time. And then you have your arroz con leche. Alright, so I added about like four tablespoons of sugar because that was not enough. Um... Because person in my family likes it really, really sweet. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I recommend for you all to be um, stirring it the last few minutes after you put like the milk and everything. Because you don't want it to get like sticky from the bottom. And for it to get burned. So I recommend for you to be stirring it from here and then. And just, um, it's up to you, your pre like your preference. Um how sweet you want it so if one cup of condensed milk is good enough and that's fine but this should honestly i'm gonna turn this off in like within two minutes and there you have your arroz con leche some people like to put raisins on them but we don't have any raisins uh but you can also add that to give it a little bit more flavor and people really like how it tastes with raisins i like it too but it's okay without raisins right now because we're gonna eat it with pan dulce Ma, why are you shy? No, no quiero, no quiero. No me siento a gusta. ¿Y cuándo te vas a sentir a gusta? Cuando, no sé, a gusta. <laughs> no, no me molesto. We're going to go to the grocery store right now, Ma. Let's go. I'm hungry. Vamos, ya. Ya, apaga eso. So my mom sent me, my mom sent me to look for fruit. I just thought I could stop recording her. She didn't want to hear her. <laughs> but yeah, I'm at the grocery store and I love these, like, the Mexican stores and all the Latino stores because they have really good stuff in here. They have so much stuff that I wish that Madison had, like frijoles, arroz, sazón goya. Freaking love this place. I'm sure y'all. Bruh. Mom's gonna kill me. Ah, fuck. Oh, I can do it. Do it. Ah. Fuck, fuck. Oh, God. Yeah. This is the life. Huh? It's in the fridge, Mom. Ya vas a comer? Uy, ya iba a romper. Iba a tirar la basura. Look at Coco. Mami, ¿esto no sirve? No. Nah. What are you doing, Coco? He was good with me. I was He's like, I'm trying to get some food. I do not consent yeah. of this bunny. I don't care. You're still going to be in the video. I will sue you. Sue me. I don't have money to give you. 
I never will have money. Fufu, you're so thirsty. Why are you so thirsty? Huh? Dude, there's like bright ass light behind you, bro. Yeah, ma? Mami, ¿qué te dije? ¿Qué? No podemos comer en paz. ¿Qué no podemos comer en paz? No, no, please. Oh, Diego, you shy? I'm not shy. I just read it with stuff in my eye. Yeah. Kim, that's the one girl that I need to. So I just made my. Are you taking a picture? No, I'm taking a video. Okay. Diana! Yeah. But, Karen, what are you talking about? Stop! We're at Ulta right now. Which ones are those? I like the fact how they like had them display here and girl, how much are these? They're they're expensive. I mean, <laughs> we gotta set it up, sister. <laughs> you don't need this in your life. Um, girl, have you seen my oh? Oh, how's the lashes? Are really good lashes. I like these. They're and they're cheaper. Great. I like these. But you have, have you tried this brand or not? Yeah, I have tried the. But the band looks this so one. thin. Oh, see, I'm just afraid to go for like a dramatic look. Like they're not that dramatic, to be honest. I don't know. I just want to say I want to say more than a natural. But they're fake. <laughs> uh huh. That's what I want to say. Karen. <laughs> Karen. So hey everyone, so this is uh, the ending of the video. I know I didn't do a good job at vlogging and everything, but it was nice to spend time with my family and I wanted to focus on that. Um, so I wasn't able to record everything, but basically I just spent some time bonding with my sisters. We went out to do a little bit of shopping and then went grocery shopping with my mom and spent time with my pets and my mom cooked a really good meal on my last day there and then i eventually just came back to madison so this is a couple days after i'm back and i just wanted to close off saying that i had a really good weekend i feel like going back home is something really nice because i get to feel like safe and i get to you know share like my experiences with my family what i'm going through and I just feel like it's a really nice way to just be surrounded by the people that I love. Uh, but that's why I didn't do so, like, so much of a great job blogging and everything. But I will continue to improve. Also, I'm giving that shout out to my niece, Isin Gomez. She said she really wanted a shout out in this video. Don't know why, but I say I love you. And lastly, I just want to say that please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and to follow me and i will keep making entertaining videos and make sure to just take care of yourself i feel like this has been a stressful week for students of color on this campus and i feel like just love each other and support one another and learn from one another um, and just be strong and love yourself and self-love always has to come first before you're able to love anyone else and if you need any help at all finding a way to love yourself and take care of yourself, let me know because I am going through that journey and I'm going to the gym, I'm spending more time with my friends and I'm cooking and I'm doing all this other stuff in order to take care of myself. So I hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves too, but have a good weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.